हे देर दिस इज अक्षत मदान वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ गेटर्स एंड सेटर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ सिंपल सिंटैक्स इन डार्ट इट्स काइंड ऑफ एन ऑपरेटर राइट बट इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल राइट सो दिस ऑपरेटर इज कॉल्ड और दिस सिंटैक्स इज कॉल्ड शॉर्ट हैंड सिंटैक्स राइट एंड वाई इट इज़ यूज वेयर इट इज़ यूज और वेयर यू डोंट नीड टू यूज इट ऑल विल बी कवर्ड एवरीथिंग विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो राइट सो आई हैव आई एम ऑन न्यू डार्ट पैड राइट एंड आई एम आई एम गोइंग टू क्लियर दिस फंक्शन राइट so now uh, what i need to do is i'm going to create a simple function first of all right and then i'm i'm going to show you the significance of this short hand syntax so first of all i'm going to have a void main function now in this void main function yes definitely i'm going to call other functions so let's create a function called let's say area of a rectangle or area of a circle so let's create both of them so area of rectangle can give me double so double area rectangle right and obviously it is going to say take some parameters let me increase the font size yes obviously it is going to take some parameters it can be double length and it can be double breadth right and now i need to calculate the area of a rectangle that is length into breadth so definitely it is going to be double area is equal to length breadth and finally i need to return it so return area this is all right this is all set right and now i can just call this function i can just use this function in my void main function so my length let's say 34.7 and let's say my breadth is 45.8 right and let's say my uh, area is going to be double area is equal to area of rectangle and i can pass my length and breadth right and finally i can print my area so print area of rectangle is now i can use dollar and i can print my area right so now uh, let's just run it and let's see what we get and then i'm going to make this function really really short right i'm going to reduce these two lines and we can just do this in a single line right so yes i got my area 1589.26 right now what i'm going to do is i see that hey nothing much like not uh, like no complex thing is happening in this function right i'm just using these parameters and i'm just multiplying them and i'm just returning that multiplication result right i can do it in much less lines so that uh, much less lines right so that my syntax looks more cleaner and it looks more readable right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove these two lines i'm going to remove these two curly brackets and i'm going to put this syntax or this operator is equal to and greater than sign right and it is going to be length into breadth that's it that's it you are going to get the same result you don't need to multiply it you or you don't need to just multiply and store a result in a variable you don't need to return it nothing no return statement is required over here just define the function return type that is your, it can be void or it can be any data type define the name of your function take the parameters as you used to take in normal functions just define this operator and just do whatever you wanted to do you don't need to return this if you write return over here it is going to fail it is going to give you some error right it is going to say hey return is not required so just remove it right and just run it you are going to get the same result so this is the beauty whenever your functions are not doing any complex thing or they are just doing a simple calculation simple um, simple thing right you can just use this operator and just reduce the number of lines of your code right you can do the same thing if your function is something if your function returns this string so just write just uh, control c and just control v and this is going to be uh, this is going to be something like this dollar then length into breadth right and this is going to become not double it is going to become string and you can just call this function don't no need to just store the variable 
uh, result variable, right? And we are all set. There is no error, right? I'm just returning a string or I'm just uh, returning a, yeah. So what I can do is I can uh, store it in a variable called string s and then I can just print this s, right? Now my area of rectangle is this will be printed as it was getting printed, right? So what is the issue over here? Yes, this is the issue. Remove it and put it over here and we are all set. So now in this video, we learned about shorthand syntax. I hope that you will be using this shorthand index, shorthand syntax a lot whenever you want to, right? So till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.